Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset source full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for March 2022. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them and see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination, I can immediately picture all of the kind of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid assets and effects, I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and best tools and systems. Check out the entire playlist if you haven't seen it. As always, there's links to the ads in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And there's also a sale active on the store right now. It has a time travel theme and a bonus coupon for an extra 10% off. There's quite a bunch of interesting assets on this sale. For example, the All-in-One VFX Toolkit, this one is excellent. It's from the same developer as the All-in-One Sprite Shader that I covered in a review. Then if you need more synthy assets, over here is a really nice modular fantasy hero. You have a complete game template for making a colony simulator. There are some portals, some fog, a nice shader effect, and a bunch more stuff. So check out the sale and see if anything you're interested in is currently discount. Alright, so starting off with the latest Synthi Polygon package. As you know, I'm a huge fan of their style. However, I'm definitely not a fan of horror games, I scare way too easily, but visually the pack is excellent as usual. So if you're working on a horror game and you need a spooky mansion with tons of creepy things, then check it out. And up next, a bunch of character effects. It's even using synthy characters to demonstrate it, but this works on any mesh. Quite a lot of effects, you've got some basic ones and some more interesting ones like making a character turn into stone. Then if you want to build a realistic city with some high-end realistic assets, look at this one. It looks really gorgeous, really high-end models and textures. Has a sample scene with day-night cycle and even a rain toggle. Right now it's HDRP only, but apparently there's a URP version coming soon. Or maybe you want to do some work in-game, so here's a bunch of power tools. Very high-end models with a really nice look. It has tons and tons of variety, I don't even recognize half of these tools. Then over here is a fun one, it's a whole bunch of textures meant for making visual effects. Over 600 textures, you've got lots of slashes, explosions, wind, icons and more. For me, this one actually showed up as free, I think it's because I already have the all-in-one VFX toolkit pack. That one is an excellent tool for making visual effects and these textures are part of it. And this one is also by the same developer that made the all-in-one sprite shader, which is an excellent asset that I covered in a dedicated asset review video. Then if you're having some shader performance issues, maybe look at this one. It's a great looking mobile optimized shader. It's got tons of features, tons of texture maps you can add to make all kinds of visual looks. And again, it's supposedly extremely performant. Then here's a fun one, a fantasy map creator. It features more than a hundred different landscape elements and objects, lots of types of paper, both with and without patterns, in a huge resolution. And if you're making a game with some aliens, then this one looks like the perfect environment. You've got lots of weird shapes with some pulsating animation and visuals. All of them with some really high-end textures, looks really great, especially when pointing a flashlight. And if you have an alien game, then chances are you also need a spaceship, so look at this one. It's a spaceship with fully built interiors. It's got a nice realistic art style, some sliding doors, a cockpit, thrusters, and much more. Up next, here's a great looking Aztec temple. This is the kind of thing that would fit perfectly in a Tomb Raider or Uncharted kind of like game. These are very high-end models with tons of modular pieces. Then for some VFX, here's a bunch of Earth skills. There are some hits, falling rocks, raised walls, spikes, and more. I really like the puffs of smoke on this one. They've got a really high frame count, makes it feel really satisfying. For something pretty unique, here is a clothing store. I guess if you have some kind of open world game in a large city, then this one could be the interior to whatever clothes shop you have. Up next, if you want some orcs with some modular pieces, look at this one. Lots of parts you can enable or disable, so just with this pack will give you pretty much infinite variety. It's a nice style, it's low poly but not made by Synthi Studios, and I think it looks great. Or maybe you just need some VFX, look at this one. Features 60 projectiles, you've got tons of orbs, spells, fireballs, arrows, and much more. Then over here is a nice looking forest with tons of vegetation. These are some high quality world scan assets, so they all have perfect scale and great textures. Up next over here is a modular soldier. The proportions and material make it look like this is taken straight from Fortnite, so definitely that style if you want it. It's got quite a lot of parts, and if you like this specific style, then Dev has tons more. Then for some 2D, here's a bunch of parallax backgrounds. They contain several layers, so you can really give your 2D game lots of depth. Features various styles, including forest, desert, swamp, and more. For some more 2D, if you're working on a pixel art game and you need some tiles, here's a nice pack. It's got over 700 tiles, lots of variety. You have caves, buildings, inside and outside, and much more. 
Up next, here's an interesting one, a bunch of old school cars, all of them from the 50s, 60s and 70s. They've got no brands, but they are very much inspired by American cars. And then here's another unique one, a super high-end Gorilla model. This is really high-end with some 4K textures and also includes a bunch of animations. This dev also has tons more animals, so if you're making some kind of Zoo Tycoon game, then check it out. Alright, so those are my top 20 new assets on the Unity Assessor for March 22. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your org. Also, check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.